volunteered to go to Earth? I did. I had to. I had family trapped on Earth. So tell me, out of everything you've ever done, what's the craziest experience you've ever had? That's easy. Earth. Earth? You went to Earth? I did. No way. You were a human? I was. Wow. Are the stories about Earth true? Were they really trapped on Earth? Some were. I know because I was one of the volunteers. Wait a second. You volunteered to go to Earth? I did. I had to. I had family trapped on Earth. But how could you get trapped on Earth? You had to be there to understand. On Earth, you wouldn't remember anything. What do you mean you wouldn't remember anything? I mean, you would have no memory of anything. You wouldn't even remember existing before Earth. What? How is that possible? It was designed that way. It was brilliant. To dive as deeply as possible into such ignorance, such darkness, and still find your way back to remembering who you were, that took true mastery. Wow. I still can't believe you went to Earth. Tell me more. Well, Earth had its own set of laws that everyone agreed to experience. Like gravity, what goes up must come down. Like linear time, day is followed by night. Time? What's time? You know how when we think of something it manifests instantly? Well, on Earth there was a delay. The delay is what made Earth so difficult. Interesting. Time. So tell me more. Before going to Earth, you would choose your family, whether you wanted to be male or female, what race you wanted to be, the location on the planet, things like that. Oh, so you could choose your own character. Exactly. You would enter the Earth as a baby and be completely dependent on others to teach you the rules. But since nobody could remember the rules, they made up their own rules based on fear and giving your power away to others. That doesn't sound like much fun. It wasn't for everyone. What did you do while portions of you were on Earth? I watched them. It was pretty funny. <laughs> what was so funny? Here were these magnificent beings, playing the most unique and cutting-edge experience in the universe. And they were clueless. I tried to guide them as much as possible. Wait a second. You could communicate with them? Yes, but they couldn't hear me. I would show them synchronicities, or send them impulses to help guide them, but they couldn't see the signs. Why not? They didn't trust themselves. So is that why they sent out a call for help? Exactly. Is that when you went? No, I didn't go until later. First volunteers, uh, they had it the worst. What do you mean, had it the worst? Well, they killed them. What? They killed the volunteers. They killed them? Those on Earth couldn't understand what the volunteers were telling them. The idea that they were equal to the volunteers scared them. What were they telling them? Common sense stuff like, all the answers you seek are inside you. Everything I can do, you can do and more. So they killed them? And then they twisted the volunteers' message and created even more fear. What do you mean more fear? Like the message, God is inside you, was turned into, you are separate from God. The message, all the answers you seek are inside you, was twisted into, you can't trust yourself. And they believed it? It was out of control. How could they believe that? You had to be there to understand. Did you know they actually believed that they were the only intelligent life in the universe? <laughs> now that's funny. Pretty crazy, I know. So then what happened? The designers knew Earth was going to enter a section of the galaxy that humans had never experienced before. A section filled with a frequency that might be able to reconnect the human's DNA. What was wrong with their DNA? It didn't work anymore. The thing is, their DNA was how they connected with their higher self. So that's why your incarnations couldn't hear you. Exactly. But there was a catch with the new plan. Only those incarnated on Earth could tune in to these new frequencies. Oh, so they needed more volunteers. Yes, but this time they were taking no chances. To pull this off, they needed millions in the physical form, wired and ready to attune to these frequencies. Are these the 21st century humans that all the stories are about? Yep. We volunteered from every corner of the universe to help the humans wake up. What did the volunteers have to do once they got there? 
we had to wake ourselves up, attune to these frequencies, and spread them to the rest of the planet. That sounds impossible. Most of those watching the Earth experiment didn't think we could pull it off. So what happened when you got to Earth? Once on Earth, we were taught the same fear-based beliefs that had been handed down for eons. We lived just like everyone else, totally clueless to who we were and what was getting ready to happen. But as soon as the Earth entered this cloud of frequencies, we started to question everything. And one by one, we started to wake up. So the plan was working. It was. The more we trusted ourselves, the quicker we reconnected. And the faster we started to remember what was happening. And since we were spread out evenly all around the planet, the planet's frequency began to rise quickly. What happened when the planet's frequency began to rise? The human's experience of time began speeding up. They started manifesting their beliefs faster and faster. Those consumed with fear created even more fear, and eventually Earth just spun out of control. What do you mean, spun out of control? These low-frequency beliefs that had controlled the human experience for eons could no longer exist, so they began to self-destruct, and the world fell into a complete chaos. That sounds terrifying. It was for those living in fear, but for us volunteers, we all knew it was the end of the old energy and the beginning of the new. So then what happened? A tipping point was reached in our awakening, and we created a new Earth. A new Earth? What happened to the old Earth? It continued on, allowing those who could not let go of their fears to play out their lessons. But for us, we created a new Earth that matched our higher frequency. And as easy as that, all the fear-based beliefs simply fell away. In an instant, we remembered who we were. We knew we were all connected, and we stopped hurting each other. We started respecting each other, started loving each other. We took back our power to create, and we created a new Earth without fear. Wow, so the legends are true. What an incredible experience that must have been. Nice work. Thanks.